Today I'm going to be talking with you about the writing assignment for Unit 6 um, in our Transition English. And the main purpose of this particular um, writing assignment is to basically lead you into something that is called synthesis. And that means you take information from multiple sources and kind of make it work as a cohesive whole. Um, it's hard for a lot of folks. Um, some folks really have um, kind of a brain block on this one. Um, but this is um, asking you to do particular writing for this particular set of um, articles. Um, in Unit 6, there are three articles that you're going to read. They're pretty short. Um, they all have to do with some form of camouflage. And so I don't, do not, do not, do not want a paper about camouflage. And you're like, well, then what am I writing about? Well, you're writing about how each of these articles use particular elements to kind of meet their audience's needs. Um, these three different articles on camouflage are written for three different audiences and they cover camouflage as a concept in different ways. And so you're going to write an essay that chooses three specific elements and explain how well each of those three articles uses them. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to read the articles very carefully. Um, critical thinking kind of reading, um, mark them up, annotate, however you want to call it. Um, make sure that you understand um, the audience for each one and each one's main points. Um, it might do you a good favor to um, write your own little summaries for each of these so that you know, okay, here's what's in the article. And then after you've read them very carefully and marked them up a bit, um, your list here is the writer's purpose, the writing tone and style, the reader's goals, discipline specific language, discipline, discipline specific features, and organization. Those are your six possibilities and you're going to pick three of those. Um, and your key here is to make sure that you can make a case in each from each article that they do this. Okay. Um, so a fairly straightforward one is the discipline specific language. You have three very different articles for three very different audiences, but they're all about camouflage. So how do they use discipline specific language stuff that people who read these kinds of things all the time would recognize. Okay. Um, how well do they do that? Now you may not be one of their primary audience folks. Um, but as a, as an English student, English class student, um, then you have certain things that you're looking for too. You want them to be very clear about what their purpose is and, um, how well it's organized and all of that. Um, and those are things that you should be able to write from all three. Um, now I will tell you all six of these elements are present in all three articles. You want to pick the three that you can write about the best. Okay. So you got to make some choices here at the beginning. Um, your response should, as always, be convincing, thoughtful, and detailed, showing various points that support your beliefs on the impact of discipline specific features in these three readings. Okay. Make sure that everything you say can be backed up by something from each of the articles. Okay. So the first paragraph needs to offer an interesting introduction of the topic and present the students your particular view of it. Okay. Um, the next three or four paragraphs um, need to include main points that develop the student's claim, 
evidence to support them, analysis explaining how the evidence supports the main point, and transition links connecting one paragraph to the next. Okay, there's your meal plan, M-E-A-L, right? Um, my advice to you is to either choose to lay out everything about one article in a paragraph, and then everything about the next article in a paragraph, and everything in, about the third article in the third paragraph. Or talk about how each one fulfills a particular purpose. Okay, your one, two, three. Either way works well. You just have to make sure that you transition between this, the sections and that it makes sense. Um, if you are going to use the elements as your organization, um, make sure that you keep everything in the same order in each paragraph. So if I'm going to start with writer's purpose and that's going to be, I'm going to use the elements as my organizing principle, then I want to do, you know, the writer's purpose in essay one, essay two, essay three, and then the reader's goal, essay one, essay two, essay three. So make sure that your organization is very um, direct and straightforward. Okay, easy to follow. Um, the final paragraph should consist of concluding remarks that effectively offer some memorable thoughts on the topic and that push readers understanding and challenge them to look at this topic in a new way. Um, you also have a grading rubric, um, kind of gives you things I'm looking for. Um, always pay attention to the, um, the first column on the left, um, which is proficient. Um, that's your A range. Um, and make sure that you write enough that I can see that you understand the different approaches here, that you can that you understand each of the articles, that you understand the, the elements that you've chosen. Um, I can't tell you that this is oh, five, five sentences for a paragraph. Um, five is a good number to point at. Um, sometimes you don't need as much, other times you need a lot more than that. So it just depends upon what you need to say. Um, remember that you do have um, a first draft, a second draft, and a third draft. I will look at each of the drafts, um, the first draft um, and the second draft, and then your final draft will be the thing that gets the percentage grade. Um, do your work well, do your work with integrity, and you'll be fine. Um, but again, for Unit 6, um, the places where students usually have trouble is they try to turn this into a research project, and it's not. Um, your topic is not camouflage. Camouflage and the different ways that various types of disciplines use it um, are your examples. Okay, so keep that in, in your head. Um, now you can tell me a little bit about the articles um, as you go along and you may have to describe some things and that's great. Make sure though that you're doing what the essay asks you to do. Okay. Um, and if you have questions, you know how to find me, right? Email, text. Okay. Have a great day.